Of the four Autopias that have existed in Disneyland, the one in Tomorrowland was the only Autopia up and running on opening day. This original Autopia track curled across approximately three unlandscaped acres of Disneyland's eastern edge with the most of the track design attributed to Disney legend Mark Davis. During these early years, the Richfield Oil Corporation, the official gasoline of Disneyland, and the company that in 1970 would become the R in Arco, was the sponsor of the Utopia, and the Richfield name was prominently displayed on the signage at the site. The 1956 souvenir book called the Utopia Disneyland's Cars of the Future. Though it's hard to see how these small, slow, noisy, gas-powered autos driven mostly by kids were futuristic. Fun, yes. Futuristic, no. For the first decade of operation, the track did not have a guide rail running down its center, meaning drivers could veer their cars into each other, pass each other, and in some cases even manage to go against traffic. Not until 1965 was a center rail installed down the middle of the Utopia Freeway to keep cars aligned. The earliest sketches show bulbous, heavy fenders and running boards on the cars, just like on classic American autos of the 40s and 50s thus making the cars of the future really more like cars of the recent past. The Mark I cars that hit the Tomorrowland Road in 1955 were modeled on foreign sports cars, Porsches and Ferraris in particular, to give them a sleek, low-slung look that anticipated styles of the next decade, if not quite the next century. Autopia is the safest of all superhighways. Here, future motorists learn good driving habits and have fun doing it. Appropriately, things are on the move in Tomorrowland. And one of the most exciting adventures is Autopia, the freeway to fun. This is the safest superhighway in the world. It's the grown-ups who do the driving. But here in Autopia, the youngsters are in the driver's seat and head for the open road on their own. In Autopia, you're just as young as you think you are. And here comes the proof. Unfortunately, with bodies made of fiberglass and bumpers of soft aluminum, the cars couldn't withstand anything more than slight impacts, even though they usually traveled at less than 8 miles per hour. Before the park opened, the cars were tested without the bumpers and were almost completely destroyed by the test drivers. Bumpers were fitted around the vehicle, but there were still problems with collisions, as a guide rail had yet to be implemented on the ride. Eventually, the vehicles were fitted with spring-loaded bumpers to discourage collisions. Over the years, Tomorrowland Autopia saw many changes, including a new track when the submarine voyage was built, the addition of Fantasyland Autopia nearby, and new fleets of cars several times. In the 1950s, kids received a Richfield Autopia driver's license. The original fleet of 40 cars also contained four black and whites, complete with flashing red lights and sirens. 